Hi, this is DL, and I've written some poems that I hope will help you investigate and explore some of the most basic yoga poses in really deep ways. If you enjoy this, please do let me know in the chat and do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a new video. And be sure to visit my website at dlcsgo.com. And now for some yogic poems. You call this a pose? We're just standing still. I've done this a million times. What's the big deal? If you can master mountain the others, it unlocks. Understanding this pose removes so many blocks. So start with the foundation. Carefully place your feet together or hip width whichever for you feels most sweet. Let the toes spread and lengthen to open the door to all nine points of each foot, hugging the floor, stacking the ankles, soft knees, neutral pelvis, taking your time so no details you do miss. From waist down is heavy, from waist up is light. Feel the spine lengthen through the crown of delight. Relax both shoulders, off collar they float. Rotate the palms open and sensing take note. Feel each of the directions, the body's tension lines up, down, front, back, and side to side you'll find. In balance they create the perfect support, without which in harder poses you'd likely fall short. Here you stand like the great trunk of a tree. Your waist is the ground point. All above that is free. On one's knees, bring the forehead to the floor. Pour out any stresses, more and more. Arms stretched and supporting or wrapped to the back. Releasing any ideas of lack. Back of neck long, back body softens and drapes around. Feel the head below the heart in supplication to our spirit we start. Now equal pressure and equal weight. Through the points of contact, engage the legs to change the state. Drawing in with the legs together rounds the lower back while moving down and out is a different track. But with each changing spinal movement, you'll surely find some improvement.
Breathe. Open. Release. And when you're ready and feel at ease, bend toes back. Legs peel back and the tailbone freeze. Coming to down dog with absolute ease. Once again, find equal weight. Lengthen the spine towards hands and the hamstrings towards the feet. Finding inner support through the core, hollow the belly for less of a chore. Heavy heels, knees bent as needs must. Now simply breathe here and trust. Resolve any tension that serves no purpose. Be at ease and the rest is surplus. There are many ways to sit to make practice fair. Crossed legs on the heels, legs straight, even on a chair. The number one mistake is to think this is easy. But if we don't pay attention, we can make the back uneasy. So if the pelvis tips up and the back itself rounds, sit up on something to raise up your ground. If your knees are too high and your groins can't relax, prop up with some blankets so they don't feel so taxed. Now feel your contact, elongate the spine, if you grow uncomfy, adjusting is absolutely fine. Now that you're sitting tall like a king, let's see what some stillness right here can bring. At any point in practice, when just getting started or needing a break, we can come to our backs for our postural muscle sake. Lie with knees bent about hip width apart. Ground through the points of the feet at the start. Then simply relax and apply the conditions. Release all of your tension and feel. That's the mission. As you breathe deeply, notice the rise and fall, that deep psoas tissue softening its overworked wall. From the notch at the top of the ribs to the inner thighs, so much emotion is stored lows and highs. Make your touch equal. Make your touch kind. Ground and breathe and just see what you find.
Now walk your toes towards your butt cheeks. Heels just off the ground. Now lightness seek. Notice your response as you push in with your feet. The pelvis floats upwards effortlessly. Sweet. No need to push. Weight on the middle back. Rest the heels gently back down to stay on track. The thighs reaching forward, just like the toes. Take stress from the knees and remain easy as it goes. 